I'm Elizabeth, a literary princess, and today I am doing my August TBR. So in July, I kind of took a slight break from my dissertation work, and now I really need to get back to it. So most of these are from my dissertation, but I still have a few that I'm trying to have for fun in there. Fun for some of, for some of them. Anyway, we're gonna do the dissertation reads first, and then we'll talk about the, the funner reads. First up, we have two books that were on my Chilahai TBR that I did not get to. This first one is Mrs. Oliphant, A Fiction to Herself, A Literary Life by Elizabeth J. It is a biography of Margaret Oliphant. I read her autobiography uh, in July. I was supposed to do that in June. You can see how things are getting kind of pushed. Oops. So now I want to read a biography and see the things that she left out. Because I am looking at kind of the professionalization of the woman writer and how these women were looked at then and how we look at them now, I have to have a lot of biographical information. So I'm going to need biographies on all four of my writers. So we'll get this going. And again, from the July TBR, Literary Women by Ellen Mowers. Uh, this is a piece of critical work that gets mentioned a lot in the various criti other critical works I've been reading. So I figured I will check it out and just didn't get to it in July. And then I have three novels that I'm going to be reading for my dissertation. And this is probably incredibly optimistic. <laughs> But we'll, we'll see what happens. The first one is Princess Napraxine by Ouida. I actually tried to read this earlier in the year and just didn't get past the first two chapters, not because I didn't like it, but because I was focusing on other things at the time. So I do want to get back to that one. I would really like to include it in my dissertation and my fifth reader who is from outside the university has done some work with Ouida and particularly Princess Napraxine, so I would like to include it. Next up is Aurora Floyd by Mary Elizabeth Braddon. This is a sensation novel. Like Lady Audley's Secret, it deals with a bigamous marriage. And that just sounds fun. <laughs> and then finally, The Eighthlings or The Three Gifts by Margaret Oliphant. And I really know nothing about this one, but I think it involves a woman writer in which case I will be using it for my dissertation. So I have to read it to find out. Those are the dissertation reads. Let's get on to some of the more fun stuff. First up for my Become a Poetry Person project, we've got New and Selected Poems, Volume 2 by Mary Oliver. I read Mary Oliver's A Poetry Handbook. I don't remember what month that was, but it was really good. So now I want to read some of her poetry. And I feel like I'm the only one on earth who hasn't actually read any of Oliver's poetry. So I'm excited to check this out and maybe I'll find a, another poet that I like. You never know. Then we have one that I have tried to read three different times and DNF'd halfway through every single time. <laughs> this is The Little Friend. I was talking a bit about this in my Who Are My Favorite Authors video. I love Donna Tartt. I love The Secret History. I love The Goldfinch. I really liked the first half of The Little Friend all three times I read it. I just, something always happened. The audiobook was due. I got out of the mood for it. I had to read other things. So this August, I really want to finish this book. And then I can say I have read all of Donna Tartt's books. She is definitely one of my favorite authors. And we'll be all set and ready when her fourth book comes out, hopefully soon, Donna, because she does one every 10 years. So it's getting to be that time, just saying. Anyway, this is about a little girl whose name you would think I would remember because I've read the first half three times, but no. Harriet. Harriet. She is a preteen girl in Mississippi. Her brother, when she was a baby, um, was murdered. 
and she's kind of trying to figure out what happened. There's also a lot of other stuff going on. There is this preacher with snakes that he's handling. It's very, it's a very interesting book and it feels perfect for the summertime because I'm pretty sure it is set in summer and it's in Mississippi. So it's like hot weather and we're in a heat wave here in New Hampshire. So it seems perfect for August. So if anyone wants to buddy read this, please, please comment because I would love to have somebody hold me accountable for this because I really want to finish it. So yeah, leave a comment below if you're like, hey, August sounds like the perfect time to read The Little Friend and we can do it together and check in on each other. Next up is my Fairy Tale Friday read. Because I have so many dense reads going on for August, I decided to choose a reread for this Fairy Tale Friday. This is Deerskin by Robin McKinley. I love this book. I, and I say like, I say like an easier read, but this is not exactly the easiest read. It's kind of depressing, actually. But I've read it before, so there is that. This Fairy Tale Friday will be on my blog. I say as none of them have been on my blog at all. I promise I'm working on that. I've decided to devote Fridays to just writing blog posts because I'm so behind on what is supposed to be up there. But yes, theoretically, this will be on the blog. And then we have the return of the George Eliot project. I am going to be finishing The Mill on the Floss. I got about halfway through before I just needed to not be doing George Eliot for a while. <laughs> is this the optimal time to get back to George Eliot? Probably not. However, I want to be reading some of her for Victober and I don't want to be it to be The Mill on the Floss because I've already read it multiple times and I also don't want it to be Silas Marner. So I figure if I do The Mill on the Floss in August and Silas Marner in September, I don't know what that brings me up to, but it gets me through Mill on the Floss, which I love and there's no reason for me to have been this stuck with it, but here we are. So I'm just picking up from where I left off uh, when I DNF'd it this last time around because I don't feel the need to reread the first half and I can find pretty easily where I left off. So that is what I am hopefully reading in August. We will see what actually happens. Let me know down in the comments below. What are you planning to read in August? Have you read any of these books? What did you think? It has been great chatting with you. I will see you soon. Bye.